Right, coming up next, a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and Eric Tiger Silva. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. Who yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point? But he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like <laughs> Conor McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Villa Belha Espirito Santo, Brazil, Eric Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy is a jiu-jitsu player. He wants to get the fight to the ground and start to weave 
this web of traps to try and find a submission. This striker needs to maintain his space. He needs to make sure he is not on the ground, avoiding at all costs. And there comes the separation now. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice knee to the body there by Silva. Misses with that punch. Head kick. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Changes his stance. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Got the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Now he's got the Muay Thai plunge. We cross the midpoint in round one. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Single collar tie here. Nice hook there by Silva. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a bunch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. And a single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Combination landed by McGregor. Real nice body kick lands. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at the control of the posture as they land that knee. He is all about that left kick to the body. single collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Silva. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kicks, you gotta slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your kick. Try to establish that jab. Single collar tie now. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice leg kick land. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. And dunk. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Silva's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh! Oh, he might be out. It's blocked, so a strong five minutes down. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. 
both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, fight. Silva gets hit by that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. And he continues to work the body here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. He lands a switch knee. Flush right hand is true. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put it in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Big kick lands. Oh, eats a knee. Connects with a right. And they separate. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And he oh, comes nice through with knee. a big knee. Now a knee. Boy, Ty Plump. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to talk. That one appeared to stun him. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee. What a punch. Oh! Get my hand. Silva's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations to me. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab is going so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Lance with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Silva gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, he engages in a single column tie here. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this Oh, he might be out. And that one was heavy. Huge block there. McGregor gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. And they separate. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. That's a big strike right there.
Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, nice straight punch there by Silva. Oh! How about those five minutes? So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, McGregor's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Him with the jab on the counter. All right, single collar tie now. A little cut below that left eye. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching down to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He lands a big knee to the body. A nice head kick. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Two head kick lands. Oh, big left hook there. And he landed the right hand there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Silva. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Silva's pass is denied. Strong caught of work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Playing the winner by He's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.